So, hi everybody, it's me again, and if you don't know who I am, my name is Nadia, and I just bring tutorials, makeup, hauls, beauty related products, and sometimes even just random off the cuff hauls. I decided I wanted to try this Revlon New Candid Foundation and Concealer, and I know it's been out a few months, but I wanted to try it. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read you what it says about it. And this has got quite a high star rating. It's 4.3. So starting off with, it says, Rev Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation is a skincare inspired ultra blendable ultra buildable foundation the foundation antioxidize anti-pollution and anti-blue light and best of all no oils no power thin no synthetic dyes and no fragrance this foundation is a medium to buildable coverage with a natural finish it says a creamy texture that goes on like a moisturizer that blends invisibly to even out skin tones there's 31 skin tone shades it's in a pump package obviously you do get only 22 mils in this for 10 pound or 9.99 which isn't a lot because normally we get a fluid ounce and the ounce is fluid ounce is 0.75 it's on the expensive side for a drugstore i got mine in the shade 130 which is actually perfect match I'm doing a wear test with this but then I also got the concealer and this is in 010 and this is in vanilla I'm really disappointed in this this is the lightest shade vanilla and there is four four shades we've got banana we've got vanilla we've got sand and we've got cafe this is the same colour as my skin tone, so I haven't been able to brighten under my eyes like I normally do, which is what I like. Not impressed with that for one start. This has got a 4.5 star rate for this product. It says, Revlon Photo Ready Candid Anti... Ready... <laughs> Ready... Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer is a skincare inspired concealer that is ultra buildable, oh, sorry, ultra blendable, ultra buildable for creamy coverage. It says suitable for sensitive skin, camouflage and dries, puffy nose bags and dark circles. The dope foot applicator is perfect for applying to delicate eye areas medium buildable coverage with a natural finish but i can't believe there's only four and a lot of people are raving about it we will see i'm going to go into me applying the foundation and then you'll see how it applies on my skin i do one side with a brush and one with the real technique sponge yeah you'll see me now i'm going to go in with just my normal revlon primer i like this and it works on the areas that i want i'm also going to be using the catrice prime and fine i've got the revlon candid foundation and this is what it looks like I'm going to use my Y6 uh, brush, so I've had to squirt quite a bit out, but so this is quite a pink base, base colour. I'm going to try with the Y6, if not on this side, and then a beauty blender on the opposite side. And now I'm a yellow toned person but i would say this is definitely light medium light definitely not anything else 
So I'm going to use the Real Technique sponge on this side and see what coverage we get. This is the two sides. This this side has got more coverage than this side. So I like to finish better with the sponge. What I'm going to do is put another pump on. This is definitely medium low. It's not any more than that. You know, I can still see my freckles and my sunspots and things like that. But it's sitting lovely on my skin. But I've also got the concealer. We're test on both this time. And the package won't come off though. I'm just gonna put it. You don't get a lot on here. Then I'm just going to go in with the beauty pen because I do like this rather than the brush. And most of that has gone on there. So it hasn't brightened my under eye at all. I don't know if there's a light shade but I'll let you know at the beginning obviously. It's not full coverage. I don't know what the claims are on it but it's definitely medium. So I'm going to set my, just my under eye because the rest of it I'm going to be using liquid products to set my eyes before they get just under my eyes before they get really creepy. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go off camera and get ready and then come back to you guys with the finished look and I'm doing a wear test and the time is eight o'clock it's actually eight o four but eight o'clock we'll start saying <laughs> say it starts i'll be back in a minute a second uh with the full face so hi everybody i'm back with the finished look this look will be coming out probably just after the video this video uh, i like to do the foundation ones first so i've not done the glasses with because obviously my glasses are for nearsighted and for reading so it emphasises everything. This hasn't been on that long and my texture on my face is so visible. My pores here which are normally gone with that Revlon um, primer that I used but no. To keep an eye on that and I look extremely powdery and cakey and I've used things that I've been using for a long time and I've used cream products I'm not I'm not sold on this and I've used a dewy setting spray and it still looks flat matte which with a dewy setting spray you expect it to be a little bit better. That is my thoughts so far. I'll be back later on and tell you how I feel about it. So guys, I've come with an update on this foundation and this concealer. And the time now is 10 past 2. I'm a little bit out of breath. I've been out shopping, got my uh, latte coffee. Sorry, LD, thanks a lot. Where do I begin on this update? Now, what I'll start off with is I've, I'm sweating because I have literally walked in from shopping. I have put my shopping away and then I was like, I want to go to sleep. No, I'm going to do an update because when I don't do the updates, I feel like you don't get to see the full benefits of what I'm trying to say especially because at the end of the night when I do come with it it's probably after I've been asleep so I'm trying to justify why it looks like it does this way although it's technically only been five hours 
which is still a, a, a long a while yeah i just thought i'd show you what i'm seeing so far with this foundation and this concealer I'm going to have a quick nosy first and oh looking at it it's gone into my smile lines which isn't a big deal i can live with my glass marks i can live with it's gone slightly around my nose on this side it's gone from around my mouth now the only thing i've had i've not et i've had this for foundation to remove like here it's like i'd have spilt something and wiped it but i haven't which is a weird one still on my forehead but looking in my normal mirror that i do my makeup in my pores are enormous so that's the foundation the concealer on the other hand it's like it's worn away under my eyes i can see my see the purple coming through under my eyes and that's not a good look and neither is this lighting i just gonna say so i'm gonna draw you in so as you can see it's gone around my nose i've got the line there my pores it they're in every fine line and then the concealer look you see that dark circle coming through and guys i've not rubbed my eyes i've not touched my eyes i've just not done anything but what i am going to say is i am going to go to sleep but i will come back and when i come back we'll see how much more is worn off people don't really see that as a true test but for people with illnesses and there is a lot of us that have got illnesses want our makeup to if we have a kip to at least wake up and it still be on a face and that's what i want in a foundation at the moment i like this foundation i'm not keen on the concealer because five hours are not doing an awful lot and the colors changed on me as well it's gone more pinky looking apart from that guys it's looking good we'll come back might not go to sleep but i might but it depends i might go and cook some food because i'm hungry i might do that actually and then come back in a couple of hours but whatever i do i will come back and i will show you the finished result and i will tell you whether i've not i've been to sleep so i'll see you in like a second so hi everybody i'm back again and the time is now half past seven so this has been on for nearly 11 hours and i haven't been to sleep i promise you i haven't been to sleep i have um i had some food i had to chop all my nails off so i repolished them i redid my toes because i was like if i fall to sleep now i want this to be a proper weight test and my daughter came around so we've I've had an hour with her so i also asked her opinion on this foundation now what she said was this but basically the same as what i was thinking where it's gone around my nose and in all my lines um, it's actually gone really strange and weird and bitty round here now i have it so the little bit that's been removed from underneath can't be helped my pores are still the same so i'm going to draw you in so you can actually see what i'm seeing so as you can see on my chin it has started to wear away but it's extremely powdery my nose is still the same my pores are still the same the concealer 
that the concealer is a big no for me it really is guys it's like i've got nothing underneath there and it's still on my little forehead so there's a good look at my skin come around this part so that you've had a good look uh, i like the foundation i don't like the concealer and i think I'm going to try it with a colour correct first to see how I feel it with it then. I'm going to try it with a different powder because it might just be the Lottie London powder that it doesn't like. I've got a few other powders so I can give it another test at some other time. But it is a nice one and for it to last nearly 11 hours. You can't say anything. I work in day seven, eight hours. But just not this foundation 100% concealer probably I'd say like 80% that's my opinions on this foundations foundations foundation and concealer hopefully you enjoyed it uh, and if you to do then please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell because there's plenty more videos where that came from so yeah i will see you in my next one bye